Thank you. And I call Mr. Peter Robinson. Thank you, Mr. Principal Deputy Speaker. Uh, I beg to move the motion in, the, in my name and that of uh, other leaders of uh, this uh, House. Uh, I want to pay tribute to uh, the work of uh, former Speaker uh, William Hay. Uh, I think all of us will appreciate your own comments uh, from someone who came from a very different background uh, to William. Indeed, uh, I have known William literally for decades, uh, and I was convinced when uh, the late Lord Banside, Dr. Paisley as he then was, uh, appointed uh, William to be our nominee for the post of Speaker. I knew that he would do an outstanding job. I also knew that in doing that outstanding job, because he would regard it as being essential to have uh, an air of neutrality, that it would take him out of the, the normal party politics, uh, and that in many ways was a, a loss for the, the DUP, uh, but again for the uh, Assembly. Uh, he uh, was the first speaker elected by the Assembly. I think all the others who sat in that uh, chair were uh, appointed by the, the government. But William steered the Assembly through what has been a, a new era of politics in Northern Ireland, and he did so with uh, skill, uh, with uh, good humor, uh, and uh, at times when it was necessary with firmness. Uh, his door was always open to anyone, no matter uh, what political party they supported. He dealt with them on an equal uh, basis. Uh, assembly members placed their confidence uh, in William the day he was elected as Speaker, and I believe that he repaid uh, that confidence uh, every day he was in office since then. Uh, as some of my own colleagues have discovered, to their cost, uh, William has been scrupulously fair uh, and impartial uh, in his role. Uh, the role of Speaker, of course, goes uh, beyond work in this chamber. You have pointed that out, Mr. Principal Deputy Speaker, the enormous workload that uh, the occupant of the chair has outside the, the sittings of the, the House. Uh, and William's uh, work, uh, I believe, uh, is a service to the community in Northern Ireland and was carried out in an exemplary uh, way. Indeed, uh, William proved uh, to be a superb ambassador for the Assembly, both here at home uh, and abroad. He has played a, a very essential part in the history of this Assembly. I am certain that everyone in this House wishes him well as he battles to return to full health. We have much to be grateful for in the manner he presided over this House, and we give him our uh, thanks for that role, which I think is best summed up in the words of the, the motion, which refers to the great distinction with which he carried out that role. Thank you. And I call Mr. Martin 